Okay, the time chain tensor, we're ready to put it back in. Um, once you're ready for that, take the bolt out of the end of the time of chain tension. There is a spring also. Get that out of the way, get it released. Take in, push, there's a little tab, a little black tab. Push it and make sure the extension arm is all the way extended in. What this does, this allows you to be able to put the tensioner back in the block, or the cylinder head, excuse me. And, uh, and then you can put the spring back in and the bolt and that'll put the correct tension back on the chain. Alright, I got the time of chain tensioner back on the cylinder head, changed the gasket out, put it in, torqued it down. Now I'm going to put the spring in. Remember the plunger is extracted all the way. This is going to push in. What this is going to do is push the plunger out and it's going to put tension on the uh, time of chain guide which will put the correct tension on the chain. Now that that's in, All right, we got the uh, time and chain tensioner all set. We went ahead and rolled the motor over a few times, make sure everything was uh, good. Went ahead and torqued down the cam shape bolt, rechecked all the timing, everything looks nice. All right, we got most of the motor all put back together. The next thing we're gonna do is reinstall the exhaust, put the carburetor back on, the air box, and uh, put the plastics and everything back on it and we should be ready to fire this motor up and see how it runs and test and tune it.